ages. Pripyat is a place of utter despair because everything here, from the notice boards that are no longer looked at to the discarded slide rules in the science classroom to the shattered piano in the cafe, is a monument to the capacity of humankind to lose everything it needs and everything it treasures. We humans alone on Earth are powerful enough to create worlds and then to destroy them. On the 26th of April, 1986, reactor number four of the nearby Vladimir Ilyich Lenin nuclear power plant, known to everyone today as Chernobyl, exploded. The explosion was the result of bad planning and human error. The design of Chernobyl's reactors had flaws. The operating staff were not aware of these and, in addition, were careless in their work. Chernobyl exploded because of mistakes, the most human explanation of all. 400 times more radioactive material than that expelled by the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs combined was sent over much of Europe on high winds. It fell from the skies in raindrops and snowflakes, entered the soils and waterways of many nations. Ultimately, it broke into the food chain. The number of premature deaths caused by the event is still disputed, but estimates range into the hundreds of thousands. Many have called Chernobyl the most costly environmental catastrophe in history. Sadly, this is not true. Something else has been unfolding everywhere across the globe, barely noticeable from day to day for much of the last century. This too is happening as a result of bad planning and human error. Not one hapless accident, but a damaging lack of care and understanding that affects everything we do. It didn't begin with a single explosion. It started silently before anyone realized it as a result of causes that are multifarious, global and complex. Its fallout cannot be detected by a single instrument. It's taken hundreds of studies across the world to confirm that it is even happening. Its effects will be far more profound than the contamination of soils and waterways in a few unfortunate countries. It could ultimately lead to the destabilization and collapse of everything we rely upon. This is the true tragedy of our time, the spiraling decline of our planet's biodiversity. For life to truly thrive on this planet, there must be immense biodiversity. Only when billions of different individual organisms make the most of every resource and opportunity they encounter and millions of species lead lives that interlock so that they sustain each other, can the planet run efficiently. The greater the biodiversity, the more secure will be all life on Earth, including ourselves. Yet the way we humans are now living on Earth is sending biodiversity into a decline. We are all culpable, but it has to be said through no fault of our own. It's only in the last few decades that we've come to understand that every one of us has been born into a human world that was always inherently unsustainable. But now that we do know this, we have a choice to make. We could carry on living our happy lives, raising our families, busying ourselves with the honest pursuits of the modern society that we've built whilst choosing to disregard the disaster waiting on our doorstep. Or we could change. This choice is far from straightforward. It is, after all, only human to cling tightly to what we know and discount or fear what we don't. Every morning, the first thing the people of Pripyat would have seen on drawing back the curtains in their apartments was the giant nuclear power station.